guys and gals. Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge World of Warcraft Classic. It's hardcore. Yes, it is. Hello. That is Iron Woman. That's our Night Elf Hunter. This episode, we find ourselves in the northern section of Ashenvale. Heading into Fellwood. Mm -hmm. Going to be working on a quest there. A quest or two, perhaps. I forgot to set my hearthstone at Astronar. That's where I want it. But I didn't do it. That's okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Kind of a late night episode for me. Do, 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 do. We'll be picking up this quest. Not that one. We'll be picking up this one. Timber Mall Alley. Uh, actually, Ally. <laughs> yeah, Ally. Here we are. This is uh, Grazel. How are you doing? Six warriors, six pathfinders, six gardeners. We will find those freaks right over here. Let's get the uh, the old boy out here. Give him a little bite of some uh, meat. Get warmed up here. Got several quests here, but none of them are too safe, I don't believe, for us. I actually tried to go to bed. I was exhausted. Laid in bed for about three hours. Didn't sleep. Got frustrated. Now here I am. It was way too early to go to sleep, but I was... Couldn't keep my eyes open. And then, of course, you go to lay down and, uh... Nothing. Just the old head spinning around 100 miles an hour. Gardeners, look at that. Hello there. Can help me out here. I can't have the buff, but Let's give her a little cheer there. A loon be praised. Yep, can't have the buff. but she got off of her mount to give it to me. Let me see here. This is a gardener. I think they will heal, so it means I should be using Viper Sting. Let's see. And I rushed in here with no mana. They do heal. Okay. All right, well, we know. They're also humanoids, which means they might run away. I didn't see him try, though. Let's start the pet in. It could be a dangerous little corner right here. If you get unlucky with a couple of patrols, or if you're trying to pull one of these out, you can pull all three. You can run into problems. 
I don't have hunter's mark on this. It's because I set the pet in manually. I guess I could just do that. Now that it's almost dead like a pro. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with that. It seems like a little chain reaction pull there. If we end up uh, at Talon Glade up north where the Alliance post is, there is a stable master there. There's that mage pulling him. I'll probably uh, pull the wolf out and use it for a little bit to see if I can get bite rank 7. For the pet here. There's usually a mob right here, but I think this mage has come through once already. Looks like a patrol. I do have to be careful in here. We get too many of these on us, and it's bad news. She's right behind me here. A little bit unfortunate. It might be hard for us to get this quest done. Oh, that's not that's a hunter. Okay, I thought it was the mage. Yeah, this is gonna be close to impossible if the mage is also here. We'll take what we can get. It's got the owl. Look at that. Got claw eight, dive three, and screech four, I think. Oh boy. Shit. This is not good. I don't think. Yeah, I've got to go here. I was too busy looking at uh, them. And uh, we had a gardener pop up was healing the mob I was on. So we're going to reset. I don't I actually don't even want to be in there. It's just too many people. We have a hard time getting that done. That's unfortunate. We can do something else. I don't know if we can or not. Horses of Jadenar, we might be able to do. We're going to go see. It's the only quest in our level range, really. Can't really do any of this other stuff. Greta Mossoof right here. Ah, I've been expecting you. Ancestors, watch over you. All right, we'll roll up this way. Hearthstone is Stormwind. Which is okay, I guess. Especially if we hit level 52. If I can get on some mobs to grind, maybe we can pull that off.
This should be okay to do. Just got to be careful. A couple of areas. Somebody's around here slaying slimes. Oh, man. There's two hunters here. They're going actually down. But, but it looks like they've wrecked. God, I hate that effing noise, man. Yeah, they're actually going down. But they've probably been through here and wrecked everything they have. Yeah, which means the stuff will start popping up on us. There's another hunter. Are you kidding me? Well, we're not going to get anything done here. Damn. They all have owls, too. It's all dwarf hunters with owls. Well, that really sucks. I guess we're just going to grind mobs. I don't know what else to do. I don't really feel like traveling anywhere. Uh, well, anywhere else, I should say. And there's undead coming out of there, too. <laughs> no chance. No chance. Just slay anything. Just slay mobs. Just do some grinding. Interesting. Yeah, well, we may as well make our way up north then, and I'll pull that pet out, and we'll use it. If not an aspect of the hawk. People are grinding the, um, like the headdresses or feathers or whatever it is those things carry that you need for rep. Probably. I've always hated, uh, any kind of reputation grinder it's not my thing I've done it plenty it's not enjoyable Kinds of bears here. We'll go up to Talon Glade. There's all kinds of mobs up there to grind as well, that whole area. A little bit higher level. Guess that owl's pretty good. Every hunter, we've seen, what, four or five hunters in this area. They all have owls.
I've come this far with the bore. This is the original bore. I want to go all the way with it. I'm loyal to my pet. He's treated us very nice. Yikes. Movement speed reduced by 70%. I don't know why I'm meleeing. I just feel like it, I guess. Yeah, we had some pretty low energy. I had some low energy earlier today, too. I, I did an earlier episode. It was the same way. Just having an off day. But I was bored out of my mind. Get some good XP for these level 51, 52s, 53s. There we are. That means hello. No mount, huh? get a quest to go down there and we might do it there's a cave down there we'll see about that i don't know we went in there on the troll hunter it's 
a pretty unusual cave. It's not, I don't think it's like a standard one. But we'll need those things. Yeah, I don't really understand why we didn't get bite rank seven after taming a wolf. I just, I don't, just, I just don't get it. Speaking of the wolf, let's go get it out. It's got growl six. so stupid there's no uh there's not a stable master here oh my god all right well it doesn't matter <laughs> there's a pet trainer but that's not what we need elun adore good luck friend forgot about that. I thought it was the other way around. I didn't think there was a pet trainer here. I thought there was a stable master. Incorrect. It's all right. We'll just use the boar. We'll get him next time. See if we can get level 52. Go to Stormwind and get trained up. We have... Arcane Shot 7, Men Pet 6, and Scorpid Sting 4. Can't cast spells. It's alright. I don't think my boar minds. He's not a spell caster. these last couple days these mild headaches anywhere from mild to extreme pretty miserable you my friend need to be healed up
know what the secret to the green screen is. It drives me absolutely nuts. Probably can't notice if you're watching this on a cell phone, but got this little stuff around the fine details and edges of you know your shoulders, your chair, headset. It's so hard to get rid of. I get it as best I can. I swear I can get it to a point where if I go one setting to the left, the stuff behind me is wavy. I go one setting to the right, which is where it is now, and if I try to dial it in one more time, it's me it's messed up the other way. It's just... I, I just can't seem to fine-tune it. I don't know what's going on. I've tried different lights and... The only thing I really haven't tried is backlighting. My pet is so low here. Man, he's getting wrecked. It's better than most. Well, no, I don't know about most, but it's better than... A lot of other people's that I've seen. Yeah, just let me double drink there. What am I doing, man? I'm out of it tonight. over here. The night elf hunter. Those bear flanks, man. Are these the things that sell? Yeah, they sell for five silver a piece. Not too bad. You get 20 of those, you got a gold right there. I had a bad headache last night. I took a bath. Soaking in a warm bath is, uh, I always see that as that it potentially helps. It did help me last night. I might soak in the tub tonight. I don't know. Let's see. Right, you guys bring all your stuff. Join me in the. <laughs> I barely fit in my tub by myself. It's such a small tub. I have this memory from when I was very little. I was living with my grandmother at the time, my dad's mom. And they had this old house on 52nd Street uh, near the shipyard in uh, Newport News, Virginia. And the bathroom had this very old tub. It had um, like claw feet on it. It stood up. I mean, I didn't know it was old then, but I know it's old now, or it was. And it was very deep. But I remember 
I could basically do like the Superman pose in the water and have plenty of room in front of my hands and behind my feet. It was so big. I, mean, I was a kid, but it was a big tub. I have a lot of crazy memories about that house and my crazy ass grandfather who lived there. We called him Paul Paul. Grammy and Paul Paul. From on my mom's or on my dad's side. On my mom's side, called my grandparents Nani and Goompa. I was always told it was German. I don't know. <laughs> Those are not Goompai. They have all passed a while now. But that house had this basement. Oh my god. It was absolutely terrifying. It had these steps, these old wooden steps that almost went straight down. It was nuts. And they went down to a certain point, and then they turned, and then they went a di another way. And it was a combination of old brick and just dirt from where the bricks had fallen down. That place was a nightmare. There was one single bulb that hung from a wire in the center of that thing. And my papa slept down there on this old cot. He was very rarely home, but there was a lot of weird, creepy shit down there, man. Me and my brother and my cousins, I was the oldest of everyone, but whenever anybody had to go down in that basement, <laughs> You did not want somebody messing with you because there was the light switch was up at the top of the stairs. There was no pull string on this light bulb. It was like just an old, old fixture. And if you were down there, you had to get something or whatever. And uh, one of your cousins or whatever turned off that light. It was a nightmare. Got a bar to go. Eight, nine, ten more kills, maybe. Fifty five, thirty nine. My boy needs a heal. Damn low. Kind of a weird thumbnail there. Probably won't use that. Weird, there's no mobs in there. Well, this is where the, uh, yeah. Actually, don't really want to be down there. I don't think we do. Let's head back up. Stuff should be respawned.
that house, I think, that house on 52nd Street I was talking about, I think that house was built in like 1911, 1912, something like that. I remember seeing a picture of my Grammy, my grandmother, when she was like 18 years old, on the steps of that house. Same steps that I remember as a kid. And she was born, I think she was born in 31 or 33. And my dad and his sisters, which are my aunts, they were all born in between 50 and 55, I think. old house. All the houses in that area were. I got into my first fight as a young kid. Third or fourth grade. I'm with this this kid named Robert. I'll never forget him. He lived like 15 blocks down. And I mean, it wasn't a fight. I'd never been in a fight before. We got off the bus. I don't know how it started. And he basically, there was a bunch of kids around, and he's like, Are you ready? I was like, Yeah. And he just punched me in the nose. <laughs> And I didn't do anything. I just, like, I didn't do, I don't know. It just didn't really affect me. It didn't do anything to me. I mean, it hurt. I think he, I was bleeding, but I was, I had a pretty rough childhood. I was used to being physically abused and stuff. And I remember the look on his face. I just had no reaction to it. But anyway, he left, and <laughs> and I saw him the next day, and he, he sat beside me on the bus, and we just kind of became friends. It's just how it was. Anyway, I don't know. I ended up going over to his house one time. I got off the bus stop at his bus stop. This is how crazy it was in the 70s, man. I Kids used to walk to school. No supervision, just... And, and that was a really rough area, this area I'm talking about. But, um, so I went to, well, it wasn't a house. It was like these really tall buildings. There were like three or four or five floors to them. Just unbelievably poor area. And I remember going into his building and all I could smell was urine. I mean, it was so bad. There were people just like in the the stairwell. Just, you know, it was horrible. But I went to his... It was just a couple of rooms. It was just like two rooms. I remember his mom. She just had her head down on a table. It, it's just trash and sh sh crap all over the place. And he shared a bedroom, I think, with two of his siblings or something. I shared a bedroom with my with my brother, too, for a long time. It, it was hot as hell. It, it, it stunk so bad of urine, like my eyes were watering. That's how bad it was. I guess he was just used to it. I mean, this kid was poor, man. And he took his shirt off, and his whole body was covered in burns. He had been burned severely as a child. I never said anything to him or asked him about it. I didn't really know what to think. Anyway, 
I think about that kid sometimes, every once in a while. Like, if he's still alive, is, you know. I saw that kid years later when I was in high school. I was riding around with my dad. I don't know what we were doing, but we went to a 7 Eleven. And it turned out it was like near his house. I, I wasn't really thinking about it then, but so my dad went into the 7 Eleven. He had this little Pinto. And I was just in the pen, I was in the car and I saw these three boys come up just looking just you did not like you didn't want to mess with them, man. They were just teenagers like me, you were the same age, but they all had their shirts off, just jeans. They walked by the telephones. There used to be pay phones everywhere. And at seven eleven, there were these three pay phones on the side of the wall. They just knocked them all off the hook went to the store and I recognized him he didn't see me or but that was the last time I saw him but I knew it was him because of the burns on his body I'd imagine that kid ended up in prison or worse I, who knows I don't know I'd like to think different maybe you know Maybe a happy ending for him. It's not likely. The pet needs to be fed here. All right, we're getting close. I don't know why I'm uh, reminiscing about <laughs> my pretty bad childhood. Not really reminiscing, just... Um, let's pull the wolf over here. A couple of big shots in a row there. When I lived with my other grandmother, this was just like a year later, so I got moved around so much when I was little. So I lived with my nani. Um, I made friends with just other boys in the neighborhood. And this one kid, we used to play this game called Kick the Can. It's a really weird game. They had like these special rules. It was an interesting game. That's kind of just how I started hanging out. They just invited they asked me if I wanted to play but there was this one kid I can't remember his name and I kind of had a connection with him we just kind of got along without really talking or anything I was really quiet as a kid and so was he anyway he invited me over to his house one time well we didn't actually go in his house we went into his garage It was right before dark, and uh, the rules back then in the 70s was just go outside and play, come back when it's dark. Like, I would be, like, all day just outside. If you had a bike, that was even better. I didn't have a bike then, but... Anyway, so he goes... He was talking to me. He's like, I, I want to show you something. I want you to come over. So I went over. We just kind of cut through the houses, through the woods, and there was a circle that pretty close to where my grandmother's house was. Uh, we went to his garage. He, s he said his dad wasn't home, but his mom was home. I remember him telling me that. It's like, okay. Uh, and he pulled the... Um, you know, there's a crawlway in the, above the garage. You pull these stairs down and you could climb up there. We went up there. And it was this... It, I mean, I remember there being storage up there. But it was also like a little area that... There was like a little desk and like bookshelves. And these bookshelves and boxes were just filled 
with what I thought were photo albums. Like photo albums back then. I don't think people have photo albums anymore unless they're older. Big leather-bound books full of pictures. You stick them underneath the plastic. And he started pulling this stuff out. I will never forget this. I still think about it a lot. It These... His father was a detective and had been a detective, I guess, for years. And these volumes were filled with women who had been, I'm going to say, slaughtered, raped and murdered. It was... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I was I didn't know what he was going to show me, but I wasn't ready for that. It these were graphic crime scene crime crime scene photos that his father had kept. And I've thought about it so many times, like why did this why did his dad have these things? It made me think that his father was like a serial killer or something. I remember thinking that for a long time. Oh, I don't actually get credit for that. But he said he told me his dad was the police is what he told me. His dad he says my dad is the police. Now, I I seriously doubt that his father knew he was looking at those things. There's no way. But that kid must have been real screwed up. <laughs> Because he was going to specific volumes and saying, look at this one, look at this one. It was real. It just... I didn't know what to do or what to say. I couldn't, like, stop looking at it. It almost seemed unreal. Like, this was not what I had seen in the movies of a crime scene or whatever. This was... I mean, I can't even say. I can't even say out loud some of the things I saw that had been done to these women. It was all women, too. It was just all women. There must have been... There must have been hundreds, if not thousands, of these kinds of pictures. And no... No, like, written. They were just the pictures. It was real effing weird, man. I mean, that doesn't even do it justice to say it was real weird. But here's the weirdest thing, and this is what I remember, and this is what I think about. Some of the pictures were Polaroids. You know, only people of a certain age probably know what that means. It used to be a type of camera where you could take a picture and it would, you would get the picture. It was, it, the picture would come out of the front. You shake it and you would get a, you'd have your picture there. A lot of the photos were Polaroids. Now, I don't know if that was a thing that police did. But I remember thinking about that when I got older. It's like, that doesn't even make any sense. It really made me think that his dad was a serial killer. I... Or he was just into weird crap and collected it. I don't know. I guess he was a police officer. I don't know. He must have been. How else could he have... Because some of the pictures definitely looked like... You could see the, like, where they had, sometimes you'll see in movies, the cops will leave little markers at the scene and stuff to mark where something was. I can, I remember seeing those types of things, so I guess he was a legitimate detective, but good God. That is just burned into my mind. But as we were looking at this stuff, like the kid just, he didn't say anything. He would just give me one to look at. He would turn to a specific one. He's like, look at this one. That's all he would say. Like, look at this one. And just dead silence up in that creepy effing attic. I 
mean, there's no way those were cases that his dad worked on because I, I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they were. Maybe he was in a special area of homicide or something. I don't know. That was a weird time in my life anyway, living over at that place at, with my grandmother. Oh, well, there it is. Uh, that's a good... You can take advantage of this to for me to stop talking about this. <laughs> So we cannot pick any talent points because this is the Iron Man challenge. We have 43 unspent. What we can do is hearth to Stormwind. And we're going to get some abilities. Level 52. Ladies and gentlemen, we have eight more levels to go. I'm feeling a little bit awkward about everything I just talked about. I do apologize. I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's go see the Hunter Trainer. How are we doing on time over here? Coming up on an hour. And I gotta turn the AC back on in here. It is quite warm. Got a teeny little apartment and uh, this desktop of mine is just like a small heater in here. <laughs> just pumping out heat. I've actually thought about trying to, if I could get long enough cables, I don't know if it's even possible, but I've got a kind of a big closet. It's like a walk-in closet. The problem is that room would get so hot. All right, let's check in here. Actually, let's go see this guy. He never gets any attention. Yeah, let's check in with this man. This is uh, Thorfinn. Well met. How you doing, brother? We want men pet rank six. I want arcane shot seven. Scorpid sting four. And I think that's all I want. I don't really care about this track stuff. And I was told this can be pretty helpful. I'm actually going to get Eyes of the Beast. I was told that can be helpful in certain situations. I can be good. take control of my pet, see around corners. I can pull something that might be difficult to me. Check in with the pet Great trainer. To meet yeah, it's just this stuff here. So here's Safe what we're going to do. Welcome. I'm going to switch. Watch your back. Where's your bite? What the hell? This pet has bite rank seven. Interest in a pie? I don't really understand what's going on there. I don't know why I don't have this. It's not on the bar. I can give bite rank six. Okay, whatever. Um, we now heal 189 health every second. Pretty good there. We have arcane shot rank seven. We go from 115 damage to 145. And I have Scorpid Sting. Did I take it off the bar? I think I did. I'm just going to put that right there. We use Serpent Sting. Oops, Serpent Sting 7. We now do 385 nature damage over 15 seconds. Pretty good. And I think that's all we got. That is all we have. Well. Talk to me. I don't really understand why I don't have bite Same seven travels. there. Honestly, I don't really care <laughs> at this point. I'm going to stay with the boar. I feel like I wasted a lot of time there <laughs> with the with the wolf. Uh, it is what it is. 
Anyway, we're going to call that an episode. Yes, we are. A strange episode, to be sure. You guys and gals, take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in the next episode. Till we meet again. Peace. Thank you.